Hey, in just three days, the YSU football team will have another playoff game at the Ice Castle. And as Paul said, the temperatures aren't going to be giving any advantage for either team. Storm Team 27 meteorologist Matt Jones explains. Even though this is the first time the Penguins have been in the third round of the playoffs in nearly 10 years, they're no stranger to playing in the cold. For the game on Saturday, not only will they get to play home field advantage at the Ice Castle, they will also get home weather advantage. Wofford has played every game this season in the Deep South. Their most northern opponent has only been from Tennessee until now. Looking at the last three games they've played, all in South Carolina, two games have been sunny and above 60. The last game against the Citadel was the coldest weather Wofford has played all season. Highs were only in the upper 50s. So with high temperatures in the upper 20s for this weekend's game, it will be 30 degrees colder than what Wofford has seen the entire season. So how much of an effect does a 30 degree drop have on a player? For answers, I went to Drager Physical Therapy Institute in Boardman to find out. I think they'll have a difficult time with coordination of their hands, um, being able to catch the ball and perform tackles appropriately um, because they're not going to be used to the cold temperatures. They're going to have um, difficulty with sensation and gripping and so everything will be a little bit slower with reaction time as well. So this weekend, grab your jacket or two and head out to Stambaugh Stadium to help out the Penguins because we all know Mother Nature will already be there too. In Youngstown, I'm meteorologist Matt Jones for 27 First News.